Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Christina. Today I want to talk about nine signs that you would be a great doctor. If you are thinking of applying for medicine, you might want to check out this video first. First, you enjoy people. Medicine is all about people, whichever speciality you are in, whichever kind of doctor you are. There are some specialties that require less talking to patients than other specialties, such as anesthetists and surgery. I have some surgeon friends who joke about being a surgeon because they prefer it when patients are asleep and not talking. But even they have to talk to patients a lot. They have to explain what procedures they are offering to the patients, the pros and cons of each treatment option, the risk involved, and getting consents from patients. Not only that, they also have to update the family constantly. One of the most interesting things about medicine is that you get to meet people from all walks of life. You get to meet people from different backgrounds, different ages, and different interests. I've met people that I would definitely not have met otherwise. This is partly why I absolutely love medicine, because I love people. So if you enjoy talking to people, enjoy meeting new people, and learning about them, medicine is definitely a career you should consider. Number two, another reason you should apply to medicine is because you enjoy science. You enjoy understanding why certain things happen and the biochemical reason behind it. For example, you may have heard that Selena Gomez had to have a kidney transplant because she has lupus. Do you want to find out what lupus is? And why does lupus cause someone to need a kidney transplant? Do you want to know how lupus can be treated? If the questions above make you curious and want to learn more, that's a good sign that you might be interested in medicine. If not, then maybe it's not something that you're really interested in. 3. You like helping people, even if people don't thank you for it. It feels great when we help people and people are grateful about it. But would you want to help someone even when they're not thankful? Some people are not grateful towards their doctor doctors at all. And sometimes, patients or family can be rude. Would you still be able to enjoy it, knowing that you're doing the right thing? Helping people doesn't always mean giving people what they want. Sometimes, it means the opposite. For example, an alcoholic comes in with alcohol withdrawal symptoms. He might get really angry at you for not giving him more alcohol, but you know that's the better thing to do for him. Can you still feel content with yourself for knowing you have done the right thing after being shouted at? Situations like this happen more than you think in medicine, and sometimes it's not so clear cut. But if you genuinely enjoy helping people despite them not being grateful, you should consider medicine. Number four, you enjoy problem solving. I remember the first time I learned about taking history, which is the art of finding out what's wrong with patients. The doctor who taught us said that we need to be like Sherlock Holmes. We need to find traces and clues from what the patients are saying and are not saying. He said that a good doctor should be 80% certain of the diagnosis from the moment the patient walks in to the point of the patient finished talking. And it is true. You need to be observant. You need to be good at listening and you need to be good at making connections. For example, the patient has a new girlfriend who loves cats and his asthma getting worse. Being a doctor is indeed a little bit like being Sherlock Holmes. You're always trying to find out the underlying cause of the patient's symptoms and presentations. Only then you could give them the correct treatment. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. Number five, you enjoy working in a team. Medicine is all about teamwork. You need to accept that being a doctor means that you are part of a team and not always the leader of a team. You need to work with other doctors, nurses, other medical professionals such as occupational therapists, pharmacists, etc. You know that saying? It takes a whole village to raise a kid. Well, it takes a whole team to treat one patient, especially in modern medicine. Whichever department you're in, at least half of your day would involve talking to other medical professionals, unless you're a GP. So, if you enjoy working in a team, if you enjoy working with other people, this might be a great profession for you. Number six, you are a workaholic. You enjoy working and derive joy from it. You might enjoy a night out with friends on Friday night, but you enjoy working even more. If that's you, you should definitely consider medicine because you would find yourself at work a lot more than your other friends. Doctors' work hours are longer than most jobs and are also much more antisocial. For example, in my first year of working, I needed to do a night shift every other weekend, which means that I have a lot less time to spend with friends because I'm at work most weekends. 
but that's okay because I genuinely love it. And some nerdy way, I do really enjoy working. Is that you? Number seven, you are confident but not arrogant. You need to be confident to practice medicine, but you shouldn't be arrogant. No matter how smart or hardworking you are, you would never know everything in medicine simply because there is too much information out there and that is just so much new stuff to learn every day with new research. And that is scary because you don't always 100% have the right answer. There will be many occasions where you don't know the answer or when patients or family challenge you with the stuff they googled. It is important to know all the essentials and sometimes admit that you don't know certain things and it takes a lot of courage and confidence to do so. You need to have enough confidence to know that you know all the key knowledge and can make the right decision but at the same time and be humble enough to listen to acknowledge your patient's concerns. Number eight, you can display empathy. I don't know why I left this point so late, but I genuinely believe that this is a trait of all great doctors. Indeed, I would argue that you could never be a good doctor without empathy. Dictionary explanation of empathy is showing an ability to understand and share the feelings of another. I think this is the biggest difference between AI and human. We actually learn about displaying empathy in medical school because we need to let patients understand and feel that we care about them. Have you met a doctor that make you feel like he or she genuinely cares about you? Do you think that he or she is a great doctor? Last point, you enjoy working under pressure and have a way to de-stress. Being a doctor is stressful and you're always running short of time because there are always so many patients and you always wish that you could help them faster. However, part of being a doctor is learning how to prioritize tasks, patients, and sometimes yourself. It is no good that you're always helping patients but always skipping lunch. Also, working as a doctor is stressful. No matter how good you are, there are patients that you just can't treat. Understand that and let go of that. Breaking bad news will become part of your daily life. So you need to do that often and you need to do it well and you need to know how to relax and de-stress after that. That's why medical schools always prefer students who play a sport regularly or an instrument because they believe those people have ways to de-stress outside of work. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about medical school, comment below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. See you next week.